to get into the Sacred Heart and think about. I wish you had also done this last year, so that whatever is going around is not going around, because there's a lot of misinformation that has passed out of the school, I don't know, getting into the media houses, which is uh, not confirmed. Before maybe I talk about whether I'm confirming whether it is typhoid or not, I received 761 students on Monday, the opening day, when I was expecting 2,000 <coughs> students. Yes, but it was because I think of the demonstrations we had on Monday. So on Tuesday, I received more students, and on Tuesday, I had 1,864 students in school. On Wednesday, in fact, that Tuesday, as they came in, I was already having students in the sick room. They came straight from home to the sick room. Some of them said, oh, I was sick, but when I told my mom or my dad, he said, you go to school. So by Wednesday, I started missing the students. I missed two on Wednesday. I missed a good number on, on Thursday. I also missed a good number on Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Come Monday, I was having a curriculum assessment uh, visit from parcels from four, five sub-counties. During that visit, I called the sub-county health public health officers. I thought about what happened last year, so I said, let me call the sub-county public health officers just to come and find out why am I getting students back from home so sick. So on Tuesday, that is yesterday, we arrived here at 10. We spent time with them. We walked around school. That small labs that you have been told me when I was taking them around, I think that's when students got advantage of getting more on the bus to get to town. They interviewed those students and they told me this cannot be an outbreak. Because if it's an outbreak, then all of them should be presenting the same symptoms. So after interviewing them, they suggested it would also be good that maybe they are screened so that you exactly know what it is as you look around to know what the problem would be. So the girls went to the general hospital as the, sub, as the health officers did their work. And when I leave office, when I, I find out that a few more went than what I said, because of the, in the morning I had about 40 students who looked unwell. So they went to hospital, and most of them, from the record I got, were presenting headache, joint pains, and fever. Then I came to learn that the, first there were 13 who were admitted, and I was still 13. They are presenting fevers between 38 and 40 degrees. Then finally I was given another two, so it made 15 girls who were admitted. And they were admitted so that they can manage the fever, because I was told by the medics that the fever is running so high. Their stool was taken, that one have not gotten results, so I cannot confirm as you ask, is it typhoid, is it what? But I just know the complaints they had about the joint pains, the fever, and the headache. So all those 100 plus students went to the hospital, finally came back, but they came back in bits because the logging out system was low. That is why I'm taking back 30 today so that they can log out. Now that they log in, they need to log out so that the hospital can get their payment. It's only about four when I learned that I have a crisis. I didn't know. I just knew I had six children whom I took to hospital for screening. Then around four, I received the count, the county director, head health, county director. And what is he saying? I've come with directions to close the school. I was in class, so when I came to the office, they were a bit agitated because I took a little time before I came. And I did not understand when I was told the health officers are here. I assumed that I was with these people since morning. What is it again that has come up? I didn't know it was the county. Then I've seen things on media, like there are 72 students. I don't know where that one is confirmed from. I've seen things like students have died before. I don't know where that has come from. I've been here for a while. I know I lost one student because I've had a problem which you are never told. I've lost a student in school. The other students that have been talked of, just like the ones we are called parents to take home, like the one of Ngoma, 
she was mismanaged, she left school feeling sick, she was taken to an operation which were never told us because of school, and the next day a child has died in school. So there has been a lot of, um, I think, maligning of the school reasons best known to the who are doing so. But as it is, I know that those children who are sick, a good number came from home sick. We are trying to, to manage the situation. And I don't know what we'd have done if we were in my shoes, because the best thing I thought was, let me find out what is ailing them. <coughs> like taking them to hospital was a mistake, so that the media would record things that are not true. But it may not also be a mistake. But as you ask, how many are aware, how many are aware, I'm glad God has given us this number of youth that you can, somebody can go to a hospital and do some physical checks, somebody can go to the general hospital, that was it, you can still go there and confirm it. So about now, what exactly is ailing the children? I'm not in a position to say so because I've already handed this to the health officers. I'm waiting to get the results of the school uh, and if there's any other. But the few students who have gone home and parents have treated and come back, many of them will just tell you, Finally, they put the child on AL, the child was dehydrated, and uh, she was uh, put on drip, and they're well. Some even as they leave, they don't go to hospital. You find a parent telling you, she came, I took her home, with can put her AL, and then she's well. So I've also been wondering, could it be hysteria? Just the way you're wondering, also I'm wondering. Because uh, there's that thing that's talk about food poisoning yesterday, the public works officers who came here, we shared lunch of beans with them, the same beans my girls ate. And I told them, if you go home and you have a problem, let me know, because that's the food my girls are eating and I'm hearing of food poisoning. I took those officers to the stores. I have very good beans and maize that I'm giving the girls and even the food. But we are not sure really now, the rain is there. Is there. We get to our water from the Victoria Water Supplies. We get our water from good catchment. We get our water, there's a small stream down at the school. So we may not really know even where the contamination is. But last time when a sample was taken, we also found that the water in the lab also had um, a bubble, this hand with the hand pump. It was noted that the water had some flora. The medics understand what flora means. I don't, but that's what they told me. But otherwise, we have done uh, our best in terms of taking care of the students. I'm happy about your concern. And uh, I hope that, that concern is going to correct the time which the school has gotten so far. I know it may not be corrected that much already because the bad has gone out, but I'm just praying. That God is going to appear to each one of us. Like when you're talking about children, you may not have children that age you are eight now, but when you're talking about them, let us not destroy them with what we are writing in the media. Because they'll read those newspapers, they'll see those things you are writing, and uh, some of it can actually affect them. So as we pick whatever we are picking, let it be that is going to build our schools. I'm sure it's not only a way to learn us, but it will be something that can build our schools. What do you think? You know, you have been sick before, so some of them are not eating. Maybe that's why they look frail, but not that food has not been provided, but some of them are not eating, maybe. Because there are also reports of lack of appetite. The parents work that we, they should not be worried. If we have a challenge with their daughter, we let them know. So the ones where we have a challenge, we let them know where we are okay. And parents are even falling and we are allowing them to talk to their children to see that the children are safe. Maybe one last one, very briefly. Mm -hmm. Madam mm -hmm. Deputy, there's a figure 341. Yes, we can go, all of us. Can, can now, we may, not, uh, we may not really fix that on the illness. Why I'm saying so? I received 761 students on day one. Mm -hmm. By day two, I was having 1,864. Mm -hmm. You see, and my population is 2,018. So it is possible there are students who have not reported back to school. If I go to the report, for, I mean to the registers, mm -hmm. 
I could say. So no, it's not the sign that 351 are sick. There are those students who are not reported back to school because we had put a clause. If you have not paid fees, we will not take you back. So maybe parents are still looking for fees. So we cannot actually say the 341 are sick. But for purposes of clarity, we we'll just need an exact, precise number of students who actually left 